Hello everyone, it's Lawn Man Dan here, uh, living in the post credits of 2020. So I know this video won't be on the tier of the lawn video, uh, but I guess my goal here is to give you a more accurate depiction of my school life rather than uh, how the campus decides to spend its money on lawns. Uh, that's just something I find hilarious. I just wanted to talk about um, the weather. It is getting colder outside and the clouds are making dandruff and it's terrifying. Being from Southern California, I was told to buy snow boots and bring a thick jacket and that's only kind of helping. I recently discovered that you can actually put pants on outside of your other pants and that seems to be a good solution. I call that wearing a pants jacket. Other people call it layering up. That's fine, um, you know, two, two roads to the same ending. So the other day I was looking through my pictures from past, my past semesters and I couldn't stop smiling. I was just over there smiling like a goofy clown man because uh, there were so many good memories that I just kind of forgotten about. Uh, one of my favorites is this one where Rohan, I guess he had taken a full body scan of himself on his phone. You can just drag and drop yourself into different places. But it was extremely therapeutic to do that and get ready for this next semester. And I think something that surprised me was when I scrolled all the way back to the fall of 2018 when I was just a first year student, uh, I kind of, I, I remembered exactly how I had felt when I showed up on campus. It was very secure and the biggest problem was uh, figuring out who you're gonna eat dinner with. You know, you'd never wanna be <laughs> going to a baker by yourself. And making friends alone was just a major task. So you better believe me when I tell you that I'll never forget the first people that just introduced themselves just because they had wanted to. They felt like that was what they were gonna do today and then they did it. I think it was three in the afternoon. It was like the middle of the work week. Um, and I was just sitting in my room. My roommate uh, shop was gone. And I hear this knock on the door. I'm folding my laundry, you know, I'm, I'm far away from my door. And so I just say, uh, come in, I guess. You know, who, I don't know who this is, it could be anyone. And then there in the hallway are these two guys. <laughs> there's this guy with a really dark beard. And then there's this guy with a really light beard. And they're just standing there looking at me. And I'm, you know, I'm in the middle of folding a pair of shorts. I, I'm getting like bad vibes. <laughs> You know, there's nothing nothing good ever happens when there's just two guys twice your size staring you down. Uh, <laughs> and so the, the dark bearded guy, he takes a step forward and he's like, We need you to do us a favor. I'm sitting there and I'm thinking, they're drug dealers. They want to know if they can use my body to shove cocaine in or something. Like, I, look, I saw the, the preppy connection. I know what goes on sometimes on these campuses. I mean, were they there to smash my head into the wall? Were they gonna throw my face out the window? Because that's just what, what goes on on Wednesdays. I don't know. I mean, it's, it's so unfortunate that uh, I was so small and they were blocking the only entrance slash exit to the room. So here I am scared out of my mind. And the guy, he takes a step forward and he says, what is the opposite of recede? I'm like, what? What? what, what do you mean? What is the opposite of, of recede? Finally, I'm like, uh, proceed, you know? Uh, clearly they were anticipating that response because then the lighter bearded guy steps forward and he's like, no, that, that doesn't work because you see, proceed, proceed is spelled with the ending C-E-E-D, but recede is C-E-D. And I was like, well, you know, in my mind I'm thinking, you didn't give me that beforehand, so how would I have known how to properly answer your question? But, you know, I wasn't gonna bring that up to these two guys that are now in completely in my room. And they just li turn and leave, you know? They didn't, they didn't even say their names, uh, they just left. I can hear them walking away in the hallway, and one of them says, See, I told you you didn't know. So my first introduction to Smitty and Seth Gahagan went from me fearing for my life to, um getting roasted on my knowledge of the English language, I guess. I, I, you know, although in my defense, I don't actually think there's an answer to that question. I've brought it up to them many times since then, and we still don't know if there's actually a legitimate answer. So if you know, uh, congratulations. Um, I don't know, you win a trophy. Dog treats. <laughs> it turns out they were my next door neighbors, and 
we became such good friends that year that we just spent the whole year playing pr pranks on each other. It, it made me really comfortable in my own skin. I could not believe that there were just two people out and about looking for someone to hang out with and they just happened to be two of the coolest guys ever. Why am I telling you this story? Uh, I think it's important now more than ever to maintain those friendships that keep you going and there's really nothing like your best friends to cheer you up when you're having a bad day. Um, and these people can be your family, they can be your friends, they can be your friends from high school, they can just be somebody you know in the community or even just somebody that you met here. Uh, savor them while, I'm, while they're here. You're only here for so long. I am talking about college, but you could draw the larger connections to life. You should take the time to stay warm this year and hang out with the people that really make you happy. <laughs> so I made a montage. Wait, I have to say on a lighter note because this went from deep talks. Dude. <laughs> so on a lighter note, uh, I made a montage of my past five semesters. Uh, just moments that really made me giggle. I also wrote a little bit of music to go along with it. Um, and if you like it, uh, then cool. Like, that's neat. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll just... <laughs> Thank you.